a chemist wants to make 250 milliliter of 3.25 molar sodium nitrate solution, what mass of sodium nitrate is required to make this solution? So we have the molar mass right here. Okay, let's start with the key equation for molarity. So molarity equals mole over the volume in liters. From this key equation, we should be able to calculate mole equals, so we move the liter to the other side, the molarity times liters. All right? Okay, we already know the molarity. We already know the volume is not in liters, but we can convert that to liters. All right? So let's do it. Okay, molarity, 3.25 molar. You need to understand what the, the unit for uh, molarity. So it's always a good idea to carry the correct unit for molarity in calculation, mole over liter, so that you can check whether some unit can be cancelled, all right? If you just use molarity, uh, sometimes it's difficult to uh, achieve that um, goal, okay? So, 3.25 moles over liter, that's the molarity, times the volume in liters, uh, we start with what we know, 250 milliliter, we can convert that from milliliters to liters, all right, milliliters are canceled. And as you can see, the liters and liters here also canceled. Then you should have mole as the final unit, as the unit for the final answer. So uh, uh, actually for the answer from this step. Okay, I uh, underlined the last digit in the required number of significant figures. So uh, you see as uh, 3.25, that means three sig figs, okay? But since this is not the final answer, this is the intermediate uh, step, so uh, I will just carry uh, one more digit to assure better accuracy. So now we have moles of sodium nitrate and what is asked is the mass of sodium nitrate. What do we do next? Okay, we simply convert the moles, converting from, put that on bottom, to the grams. That's basically the molar mass of sodium nitrate. And then 69.06, Primes again underline the last digit in the sig figs. So, therefore, the final answer should be 69.1 grams. And D is the answer for this question.